I can remember I was eight o'clock duty that morning and I think it was probably a Wednesday, I'm not sure why that sticks out in my mind. Um, getting off the bus half past seven into Lydney to start work at eight o'clock and um, normally you would see the same people in the street at the same time every day, people going off to work and things, but that morning everything seemed very different. You know, more people about and people rushing and dashing and I thought, well, something just didn't seem seem right with the town, you know, walking up through the town. And then you would hear the an emergency vehicle coming down with a loudspeaker telling people not to switch their gas on. And anyway, when I got into work that morning, I um, made my way up to the restroom and the, the uh, night operator came out and said, can you come quick, can you come quick, there's an emergency. So I grabbed my headset and, well, I've never seen anything like it. The switchboard was just in a blaze of lights. If, I should think every subscriber that there was had picked their telephone up at that time. And, of course, a lot of them didn't know what had happened. A lot of them weren't aware of the emergency. And uh, if they wanted... Uh, an attention quickly. Uh, and if they dial 999, obviously they go through to the emergency board and they would be answered. But that was full up, so there was no chance of getting through on that. So they'd be there dabbing their receiver up and down like this, and all the lights were flashing. Everybody was doing the same thing, trying to find out what was going on. You know, no gas and no, no loudspeakers. And so everything. you heard this van saying there was not to put your gas on. That's right, yeah. yes. And then you would go into work... And, well, given people were tapping their receivers uh, yes, to get attention, yeah, yes. how did you decide what was the most important? This, well, you couldn't. You couldn't. Yeah. It was just potluck, you yeah. know. And um, by this time, the other 8 o'clock girl had come on, So and the poor chap that had been there all night on his own, well, he must have been just absolutely run ragged. Do you, you know? remember who that was? Yes, I remember very well. Gilbert Fletcher, his name was. Sadly, he's not with us any longer. But uh, he had had a, a horrendous night, and of course, in the middle of the night, couldn't get any backup, you know, to come and come and help him. So from that minute on, it was all hands to the plough, and as people were coming in, you know, dr dragged them to the switchboard as quickly as you could, and let's get on with it. So really, until a supervisor come on, which was usually half past eight, nine o'clock, who could sort of try to look and see who might have been calling the longest, you know, or take this one this, or take that one next. People were concerned for their husband who might have been coming home from work or just gone to work or whatever, you know. But yeah, so it was, yeah, it was a, a torrid time, really. Yeah. Mm. 